welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Isa, your ob on call. Today, we're diving into an underrated sexual wellness product, personal lubricants. For this episode, we'll discuss the benefits of lubrication during sex and discuss the differences between natural and commercial options. I know some of you might think that lubrication is not that important, but trust me, they are a must-have for enjoyable bedroom plays. But before we get started, remember to hit the subscribe button to stay updated on the latest sex toys and sexual wellness. At Alvet, we aim to break the taboo surrounding sexual health and pleasure, so your support helps us continue our sex-positive advocacy. Feel free to like this video if you find it helpful and check out our previous episodes by clicking on the channel link below. Let's begin! If you have read romance or erotic novels before, you've likely come across some phrases such as wet down there or being wet as the main characters are about to get into a bed scene. These lines refer to vaginal lubrication, which is a normal physiologic function in females or people with vaginas. You see, the vagina is naturally moist due to the cervical mucus and fluids from the Bartholin's glands. It shields your vagina from injury and tears, and it also plays a part in keeping it clean. Depending on where you are on your menstrual cycle and hormonal levels, the amount of fluid that your vagina produces could vary. Now, when a female individual gets aroused, extra fluid is produced by the Bartholin's gland which are located in your vulva. And as the vaginal walls swell up due to sexual excitement, then vaginal transudate fluid is also released which provides more lubrication in that area. So you might be wondering, why does the body produce so much vaginal lubrication before sex? Well, it's the body's way of preparing for penetration. Without sufficient lubrication, vaginal sex could lead to discomfort and soreness due to the friction between the penis and the vaginal walls. This is why female individuals need enough lubrication. The more lubricated they are, the more satisfying and comfortable this experience will be for them. Now, there's no standard amount on how much natural lubrication a person should produce. It varies per individual. What's enough for you might not be enough for others. However, if you feel like you're producing too little lubrication or feel pain during sex, then I recommend that you use a commercial lubricant. A commercial lubricant or lube is designed to mimic natural lubrication. Its main purpose is to reduce uncomfortable friction during penetrative sex. Using it is pretty straightforward. For example, I have here the Love That Unflavored Lubricant, and to use this, all you have to do is open the cap, pump a few drops of product into the intended area, and that's it. So let's talk about the benefits of using a commercial lubricant. Number one, it's a safe alternative to natural lubrication. If you're having some issues with lubrication during sex, whether it's from medications that you're taking, stress, or health conditions that causes vaginal dryness, then lube can help you continue having sex without compromising your comfort. Some of you may be tempted to use your saliva or whatever gel or cream that's available in your bathroom, but this is a big no-no. Petroleum jelly or baby oils are not formulated for your genitals. Not only can it cause irritation down there, but it can also damage latex condoms, increasing your risk for unplanned pregnancies and sexually transmitted infections. Instead, go to the nearest pharmacy or sex toy shop and get your high-quality lubricants from there. Number two, it makes anal sex safer and more comfortable. Commercial lubes are necessary for anal sex. Unlike the vagina, the anal canal cannot produce its own fluid to reduce friction. The anal opening is incredibly tight, so getting penetrated anally can be super painful without lube. That's why for those who are interested in anal play, whether you are going solo or with a partner, always make sure that you have a bottle of lube ready at your disposal. Number three, it decreases the risk of condom breakage during the deed. Using condoms with little or no lubrication can cause problems. Yes, most condoms are already pre-lubricated, but sometimes it's not enough, especially when a female partner's vagina has little or no lubrication as well. When there's a lot of friction between the condom and the genitals, the condom may have micro tears or the semen may leak into the sides. To avoid these issues, use lubrication. Just make sure to always use water-based lubes and avoid oil-based ones. And when you're applying lube, put it mainly outside of the condom. If you put lube on your penis before putting on a condom, then your penis may slip off during sex. Number four, it keeps your mouth wet during oral sex. One of the awesome things about commercial lubrication is its versatility. 
it can be great for all types of erotic activities, including oral sex. So if you struggle with dry mouth while pleasuring your partner, then using a flavored lubricant can be a game changer. They help keep your mouth wet and add tasty fun into the experience. They come in various flavors so you can find one that you can both enjoy. Lastly, number five, lubrication can increase or decrease genital sensitivity. Commercial lubes come in various types. There's warming, cooling, and even desensitizing options, and each one gives you a unique experience for you and your partner. These special lubricants can help enhance sensations, making you more sensitive to touch, or it can also help prolong erections. However, it's important to be careful when selecting a stimulating lubricant. Some products can potentially contain harmful ingredients like benzocaine, which can cause adverse reactions. Now that we've covered the benefits, let's now discuss the different types of commercial lubes. If you're interested in trying something out, then here's a current rundown of what's available in the market. Let's start with the most popular choice, water-based lubricants. Water-based lubricants are a favorite for many due to their versatility. They're safe to use with condoms and sex toys, and they work well with almost all skin types. They come in a wide range of consistencies. Some are gel-like, others are creamier, and some even feel like lotion. This variety even makes them more versatile, giving you plenty of options to find out what's best for you. Also, they don't stain your sheets and they are easy to wash off. They're almost perfect, but just like any other sexual wellness product, they come with a few downsides. Since they are water-based, they easily wash off during shower sex. They're also more quickly absorbed by the body, so you might have to reapply every now and then while doing the deed. Plus, some people might find that this lube type becomes sticky over time, so it's not ideal for everyone. Let's move on to type number two, silicone-based lubricants. These are fantastic for people who have more sensitive genitals due to their thicker and silkier consistency compared to water-based lubricants. They also last much longer and usually don't become sticky over time, which makes it a popular choice for those who engage in anal sex. Plus, like water-based lubricants, they are safe to use with condoms. However, if you enjoy silicone-made sex toys, then this option might not be the best for you. Silicone lubricants can degrade the toy surface, creating microtears that can harbor bacteria. Next up are oil-based lubricants. One of their biggest perks is their longevity. You don't need to reapply them because they last an incredibly long time. They're also excellent for sensual massages, giving you two pleasure products for the price of one. However, oil-based lubricants are not the most recommended option. They can disrupt the natural balance of bacteria in the genital area, increasing your risk for infections like bacterial vaginosis and yeast infections. But they can also damage condoms, making it a poor choice if you're using or relying on condoms for protection. Cleanup can also be a hassle as oil-based lubricants are greasy and can be hard to wash off. If an oil-based lubricant is your only option, then I recommend using one that's made with extra virgin coconut oil. It's the safest choice among oil-based lubes offering moisturizing and antimicrobial properties. Lastly, we have hybrid-based lubricants. These lubes combine the best features of both water-based and silicone-based lubricants. They have a thick consistency, long-lasting moisture, and easy cleanup. They're safe to use with condoms and sex toys, making them a versatile choice. Of course, there are some downsides. Hybrid lubes can develop a sticky texture over time, they easily wash off during aquatic activities, and they tend to be pricier. Despite these minor drawbacks, hybrid lubricants remain to be a great overall choice. Now that you've learned about the different types of lubricants, you're more equipped with the information that you need for your next lube shopping trip. But before you start looking for those lubricants, here are some tips to consider to make sure your next bedroom session is safe and everything you want it to be. Tip number one, pick the right kind of lubricant. Choosing the right type of lube can make all the difference in your sexual experience. That's why it's important to assess your current sexual experiences and preferences before making a purchase. Start by asking yourself this simple question. What type of sexual activities do I enjoy? If vaginal or anal sex is your thing, then water-based lubricants or silicone-based lubricants may be your best bet. They provide the slickness and longevity for a smooth and pleasurable penetration. On the other hand, if oral sex is your go-to, then using flavored loops can add an extra layer of sultry fun. They come in a range of delicious flavors that can enhance your oral play, making it more enjoyable for you and your partner. 
If you love indulging in sensual massages to set the mood, consider investing in a high-quality bottle of warming oil-based lubricant. Not only will it enhance the sensation of your massage, but it will also leave your skin soft and moisturized. Tip number two, get lubricants from reliable brands. When it comes to buying lubricants, quality matters. Always get your lube from reliable brands. They're more likely to use safe and high quality ingredients, reducing the risk for irritation or adverse reactions. While it might be tempting to go for cheaper options or unbranded products, it's important to consider the potential risks involved. Budget lubes often lack the proper labeling, making it more challenging to know what kind of ingredients it contains or if you are using them correctly. Saving a few pesos isn't worth compromising your comfort and safety. On the other hand, investing in quality lubes ensures your peace of mind. Tip number three, when using lube for the first time, begin with a patch test. If you're trying a new lubricant for the first time, then it's best to do a patch test before anything else. This simple step can help you avoid any unpleasant reactions. Apply a small amount of lube to an inconspicuous area of your skin like inside of your wrist or on your elbow and wait for 48 hours. After 48 hours, see if there's any itching, redness, or irritation. If your skin reacts negatively, wash off the product immediately. After that, look for a product that is hypoallergenic or specifically formulated for sensitive skin. If there's no allergic reaction, then you can proceed more confidently knowing that the lube is safe. For people who have sensitive skin or multiple allergies, doing a patch test is a smart move. We know that waiting for two days before using your new lubricant is not ideal, but if it's a new brand or if it has ingredients that you have not tried before, then it's totally worth it to do a patch test. This way, you can fully enjoy your intimate moments without any worries. Tip number four, always check the instructions. Before using any lubricant, always check the instructions. Following these guidelines ensures that you get the best performance and safety from your lubricant. For example, some lubricants are safe to use with condoms while others aren't. Knowing this beforehand can help prevent accidents and keep your experience safe and enjoyable. The instruction may also include information about how to store the product properly which can help extend its shelf life and maintain its quality. Do not skip this step if you are trying out a new type of lubricant. And tip number five, limit the use of flavored and stimulating lubricants. Flavored and stimulating lubricants can add an exciting twist to your intimate moments, but it's also wise to just use them occasionally. These lubes often contain ingredients like sugars, flavors, or warming agents that can irritate the skin. Overusing them can disrupt the natural balance of your genitals, leading to discomfort or infections. That said, I recommend switching things up with various types of lubes to help keep your intimate activities exciting while prioritizing your comfort and safety. Use standard water-based lubricants for your daily activities and save the flavored or stimulating ones for those special moments. This way, you can spice things up when it matters most without risking infections or irritation for you and your partner. And that ends our fun episode for today. I hope that you feel more informed and empowered when choosing the right lubricant for your needs. Remember that your comfort and pleasure should be your top priority, so don't hesitate to experiment to find the commercial lubricant that works best for you. Now, if you constantly find yourself needing a lot of lubrication or if you just feel dry down there, then I also recommend seeing a healthcare professional for this. They can help identify any underlying issues that is causing decreased lubrication and provide you with a tailored treatment that can help with those issues. Before you go, make sure that you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and insights on sexual health and wellness. If you have any questions or topics that you'd like us to cover on future episodes, then write them down in the comment section below or on Lovet's social media accounts. I'm always here to help. Thanks for tuning in and until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Bye!